Athens is going to be flying in again. Very good. <laughs> Good morning. We have an emotional one this morning. We are leaving Morocco. See you later. <laughs> Bye now. That was lucky. <laughs> Only had a minimal amount of dirhams left, just enough to cover the toll. I'm heading to Spain. I'm hoping to catch the 6.30 ferry this evening, but with insurance running out in Morocco, I'm not wanting to renew that. In fact, everything's running out. Beer, food, dirhams, plus. <coughs> Lindsay's flying into Spain again. So I'm gonna get back across to Spain to meet up with Lindsay. Obviously we've had the crisis with poor Nick being in hospital. There are improvements enough there that I'm happy that because I've got to go, I can do that. Um, the others are still behind. They'll hopefully follow, fingers crossed in a few days if Nick is well enough. I'm also confident that being in Spain, uh, I just frees up a whole load of options, doesn't it? Because SIM cards are gonna work again. It becomes more user-friendly, let's say. Um, I'm probably gonna hold up around the bottom around Tarifa again, just for a little bit, get everything ship shape, do all the washing, do all the chores, and be on hand. But in an emergency, I can always get back to Morocco uh, to help out with Nick. Um, but we are confident, confident enough that he will touch wood be following in a couple of days. There's definitely a couple of areas that I did miss. And there are a couple of areas that by being here I've learned that I would like to see. So look, the good news is there's a definite reason to come back. And boy, do we want to come back anyway. But definitely there are places to see. Chef Chouan, the Blue City, that was on the wish list. I didn't think about it. But I think, no, I'm going to save that because I think that's going to take a few days as well to enjoy that properly. So we will be back. I'm going to leave these places bookmarked as a definite point to return to. Now whilst I'll sort myself out of the port, have a quick listen to my mate Chris Sloanes, because summer's coming and I know a lot of us are going to be visiting his favourite Scotland. If, like us, you're stuck in the UK while Andy and Lindsay are off gallivanting in Morocco, then we've got you covered. We have five different travel guides available. We've got the Ultimate Scottish Road Trip, the North Coast 500 Improved, the Outer Hebrides, the Isle of Arran and now the new Borderlands 320 travel guide. They're all available in paperback and in ebook form and we also have seven instant guides available for the small price of £13 which cover all of these different places. The links for those are in the description below. We're back to gorgeous sunny Morocco to them two lucky buggers that are exploring it. Mixed feelings about that view, the boat being in the queue, going back to Spain. Obviously having lost the first three weeks off of our trip to Morocco. I do feel as if I've been cut short a bit here, but it is what it is. I'm certainly looking forward to seeing Lindsay again in Spain, so we'll look at the water too. Oh, no way. Now talking to positives, we had to pick up a few hospital essentials for Jen and Nick yesterday. And that gave us the opportunity of popping into the cool little lanes of the Fez Medina. Now come and have a look with me, because this ended up being one of my favourite medinas of Morocco. Now this place is positively oozing in character. It's one of the largest medinas in the country. In fact, I think it is the largest medina in the country, and probably the world. We're being held up because Jackie is being cornered to buy a small drum <laughs> of a street seller. But she got away, yay! Did you buy it? No. you could feel the pride from the locals. We only had a few hours here, but you could easily lose a day.
do decide that you need a break from the hustle and the bustle, well, there's plenty of elevated restaurants to relax and unwind. That, my friends, is why we fell so deeply in love with Morocco. Here's to all the fun that we had and all the beautiful people that we met along the way. We will be back. Good morning. So I've got some serious driving to do today. I've got to go from the southernmost tip of Spain back up to Alicante because Lindsay's going to be flying in again on Monday to join me for roughly a week. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm not going to take the toll roads. I'm going to try and save some money, albeit I really ain't sure of the mathematical formula to um, what I would be spending on tolls to what I'd be saving on fuel. I don't know. But anyway, either way, I'm driving through the coastal roads of the Costa del Sol. Now, although that ain't my bag to stay here in any shape or form, it is quite a pleasure to drive through it. Just blue seas, lovely sandy beaches, palm trees again. So as drives go, it's quite nice really. I'm not totally convinced that I'm gonna get all the way up to Alicante in this one drive. Blue's gonna need a little bit of a, a leg walk. I've been pretty casual about the timing, so I might stop off in the Vera area again because I liked it around there. There's loads of park ups. I think that's the other thing down this way. Park ups, although they're they're plentiful, I don't think they're as beautiful and as open and as relaxed and as empty as some of the ones that we found around that Vera sort of spot. So that's the plan. It's funny driving through that area reminds me of a film we watched the other night, uh, The Business with Danny Dyer. <laughs> Want to come for a swim, Frankie? Any good? Now, I'm not suggesting that's a great film for the acting, but if you're my kind of age and you love that casual era back in the 80s, then that's a good film to go back and reminisce. And such a good soundtrack as well. So that's my tip. Go back and watch The Business again if you were a teenager in the 80s and you like all that casual gear. All the Sergio Tacchini and Fila. Oh, remember them... Um, Deodora Borg, the golds. And they made out of kangaroo skin or something. I don't know. Oh, Lois jeans. Remember you used to slit them up the side? Over your Nike Wimbledons. Farrers. Oh my days. Farrers. Kappa. Honestly, the list goes on. They were good days. Yeah, jumbo cords and um, kickers with the little tags. Then they got another lease of life again, didn't they? In the rave scene at the end of the 80s. Classics. Mid 80s, that was my my prime school disco sort of era. Break dancing, <laughs> loved all that. And Pringle, was, that was another one, it? Pringle jumpers. Oh, there were so many. Can you remember any more? <laughs> Remind me in the comments. I know there were some um, slightly naffer ones as well. Oh, naff naff, don't get me onto that. That was another generation, wasn't it? Yeah, naff naff and chippy. Now that was slightly later in the 80s, if I remember rightly. United Colours of Bennett. <laughs> yeah, the casual days. What was it? Was that 83, 84, 85? Anyway, it's that sort of our early to mid 80s slot. Good morning. Right, moving on. Just picked a real dullard park up last night. Massive park up and full of motorhomes, all crowded together. I stuck myself in the corner, but it's time to move on. I'm sure there are prettier places down the coastline. I've got loads of work to do, loads of editing. So with a day to spare before Lindsay flies in, I'm sure I can find somewhere more scenic to uh, have a work day than this car park. So let's move on and show you. Look at them all, all huddled together. Let's take you through the middle. Handy though. I'm trying to find a shower or something. Look at the state of me. <laughs> it's 
So it's like when you travel on your own, it doesn't really matter, does it? But I better have a tidy up before I see Lynn's. There are oodles of wild spots all the way down this coastline. Absolute piece of cake if you want to park down here. That's stupid, I stuck myself in a bloody car park. <laughs> it's amazing, the light of day changes everything. The trouble is, as much as I keep seeing spot after spot, which are ideal, I've got some miles to, uh, to make up, so I'm going to keep moving on, but my God, this area is full of them. Blue skies, blue seas, park ups and palm trees. And it rhymes, doesn't it? Everywhere you look, it's just bliss. Oh, and there's a big difference here. Obviously now coming across from Morocco back into Spain, bins everywhere in Spain. Big bins. There's no excuse for the rubbish. Morocco, a real absence of bins. Rubbish everywhere, it's so sad. There are big spots, little spots, lone spots, group spots. Honestly, whatever your flavour of spot is you're looking for, if you want a good wild park up in Spain or down this coast, there's always too many. You're spoiled for choice. Oh, yeah, there's another one here. Now, this looks like this looks better. It's on the waterfront. Look, there's just spots everywhere. Good thing there is a choice though, because this particular one, A is too busy for me, and B ain't got no service. And some of them have had up to 5G along here, so this is not the one. Then the crazy thing is, 20 metres up the road, almost the same section, 5G. <laughs> Honestly, don't get much better than this. Do you know what, I've just worked out where I am. <laughs> it's funny, I hadn't been looking at the map, just been driving down the coast. Playa de los Cosidores. Been here last time we came through. See you what, well I don't necessarily need to stay here overnight because I don't want to do something I've already done, but I do need to stop for lunch and for work and for walking blue. Now I know this is beautiful, so why not? Should we take you for a walk though? Yeah, good boy. Come on. You want some of this? Of course you do. With a little bit of work, lunch, and a dog walk done, it was time to move on. I've still got a couple of hours to get nearer to Alicante to pick up Lindsay. She does worry me. She's giving me the address to the apartment that uh, her and her friends have got. It sounds like it's Benidorm, not Alicante. Not that that's far, but I never really thought of staying in Benidorm. <laughs> We're going to have to suck this one and see, I think. At the roundabout, take the second exit onto Carabacchia. Busy man here again. Morning, slight change of plan. Lindsay has landed and they've gotten in a taxi and gone straight to the apartment just to uh, get themselves sorted, just because I have a couple of bits and pieces to do here. So I'm going to go there, hoping I can find it, of course. And also hoping that by the time I get there, I can jump in the shower and uh, put some clean clothes on as well. <laughs> now, according to the sat nav, it's only up the road, so that kind of suggests it's not Benidorm, Benidorm, but merely on the outskirts. And it still comes up as Alicante as an address, but it does mention many more. Good morning, Lindsay's on board. Found a little cove last night. <laughs> there was nowhere that uh, officially you could park near the apartment that Lindsay stayed in. It's all the 
no overnight campers and all that in the car parks, but there's a little cove that we found 10 minutes just out of the way. Nice and quiet, very pretty. It's going to be lovely. Yeah. I'm just watching our band tails. <laughs> Someone just said it was a um, very nice smile in a summit way at one minute, free, 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 but I can't find it. It's a bit cloudy today, isn't it? Yeah, and cold, but. No, but come on. Now Lindsay's here. <laughs> now Lindsay's here, we've lost the sun. Typical, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just bringing the bad weather with me. And I look like crap this morning because I'm just waking up. We've got so up because one of the girls that Lindsay's with, it's her birthday. It's her birthday. 19. Can you remember when you were 19? No, I can't. No. But her wish for her birthday morning was to have a sea swim, or at least a run in the sea, for, yeah. for a birthday wake up. Birthday. So we've got to meet them down by the beach at 9.30. And I question whether I'm going to go in at all, to be honest with you. I'll do the filming. I'm pleasantly surprised, actually, that it's a Benidorm address, but it isn't Benidorm. It's like a little town just yeah. outside of Benidorm. It's super clean and tidy. Yeah, it's really cool. It's no. actually really nice, and this time of year, it's got enough going on, but it's still quiet. You know, there's still, you know, a lot of times you go places and sort of January, February, everything's closed because it's out of season. Here, it's just, it's open all year round, which is quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. So there's nothing worse than going to a town. I went to um, Saint Tropez recently, um, me and Jess went, and we went, I think it was November. Everything was shut. It just literally shuts, mm. no one on the bed, like everything was closed, it was weird, so yeah. Yeah, yeah I noticed here that the bars, the restaurants, the shops, everything around that bay is all yeah. open as normal, isn't it? Yeah. But they clearly take great pride in the beach, there's signs everywhere, no dogs, no alcohol, no rubbish, you know, all, yeah, all the things that you'd kind of expect from a tidy beach, and then at night they've clearly swept the whole thing, it was all really level again really last night, wasn't it? Really clean and tidy, Super yeah. Super clean and tidy. It's very different to Morocco, I love Morocco, but there's rubbish everywhere. It's a shame, isn't it? Whereas here, it's very clean kept. And he just said the word jovial, and I was like, what does that mean? Stick with me, Lindsay. Oh, I don't know. Look, you can't have it all, Merle. You know, <laughs> I'm spiritually connected. I might not be intellectual. Like, my brain's just not programmable, unfortunately. No, not unfortunately, fortunately. My, pro my yeah. brain is not programmable because I'm too, um, yeah, I'm in, I'm in my fairy brain. I'm connected to the ethers. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, no one can, I can't be brainwashed at all. Which is kind of handy in this day and age. Yeah, yeah I'll give you that. Exactly. Yeah, and we don't take that propaganda bollocks. No. So, anyway, I wish the sun had come out. I'm getting a bit pissed off with these clouds. It'll come out when you leave in a couple of days. Yeah, of course it will. So, I've wussed out. I'm not going to go in. The sun hasn't come out, but the girls are still up for it. So, let's get this done. I'm playing my part by uh, supplying the towels. That one's yours, Jess, I think. <laughs> oh, nice. Who's up? Towels? Okay. Oh, on your go. So, what do you Just collected Lindsay from work. Bit of a lunch date, a little walk with Blue. Yeah, it's beautiful. 
We are in, we're not in Benidorm, are no, we? No, this we're is um, Finistra. I'm going to go with Finistra. Finistra. This is the place that you're welcome to come. It's all very beautiful, but you're not allowed to have fun. Mm -hmm. There are signs everywhere about don't do this, don't, don't do, do that. that. Pretty if much, you... yeah, come and have a look, but don't touch. The other day we Googled, if you go on the beach between midnight and seven in the morning, get fined 700 euros. I mean, what sort of bollocks is that? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to be completely transparent and honest with you. Before I come to Benidorm, I was like, oh, I don't ever want to go to Benidorm. Like, it's not my cup of tea. And I must admit, looking back now, I think I was a little bit judgmental. One thing I have found since being here is everyone is really friendly. There was a beautiful lady last night we went to get some food and her husband had passed away and she's moved to Benidorm and she went out on her own having a meal but she wasn't alone. There was everyone was making her feel welcome. She was talking to everyone and I just want to say yeah that it does have that vibe you know it makes you feel like you're part of something. Don't get me wrong you know like Obviously there's a lot of alcohol and all that kind of stuff, but you know, each to their own and that's not a judgment. Yeah, but I have found it to be really friendly. Everywhere I've been, the people in the restaurants have been really lovely and I've just felt, yeah, really welcomed here. So I need to take back everything that I, I judged or I assumed, because again, I'm only human. It has been really lovely. Look, look at this beautiful ocean. Yeah, the colours are absolutely stunning. She's not staying in Benidorm, Benidorm. No, <laughs> I'm in Finstrat, but it's still shit. we went into Benidorm last night because the girl that we come away with, Joanna, she's a beautiful soul. We went out and we ended up, actually, we didn't end up going out, went for a meal and then come home. So I'm not here in the height of season, so I can only speak for what I've experienced now at this time of year, but I actually have had a beautiful time here and the ocean is beautiful. You know, we've got this beautiful background and then you kind of go around like this and, you know, to be fair, high rises aren't my thing and I do feel like it spoils it a bit, but it is what it is and it doesn't take away from the kindness and the vibe of the place and the way everyone's so friendly. So, yeah, I take it back. Whatever I said or whatever I had, my prejudgment, then I need to give myself a little slap on the wrist because I tell people not to judge and I need to pull myself up for that. So... Yeah, it's been really beautiful. Yeah, the tourist board of Benidorm. This is your new face of Benidorm. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's been lovely though. Well, it has to be said, this place comes alive at the weekend. Saturday morning, there's a market. They're playing volleyball. The beach is coming alive. Much stronger vibe at the weekends. <laughs> Thanks as always for watching. Please give us a like, subscribe if you haven't already, leave us a comment, we'd love to hear from you. Follow us on Instagram, oh and we even have a TikTok account now, not we know how to use it. Don't forget if you'd like a sticker, do like these wonderful people have done. Buy us a coffee, we'll get back to you for your address and we'll ping you on out. Bye for now.